Hey guys, back to a new video. Today I'm inside new Volkswagen ID5 and because Volkswagen update this multimedia system, in this video I want to talk a little bit about the multimedia system and I want to present you as it is. So first of all, I want to tell you that they come with a new chip, a new processor, and that means it works even faster. It's much more responsive. I was impressed to see how responsive it is because before many people complain on the ID cars like ID3, ID4, that it's a little bit slower. But now in this ID5, it comes with a new chip and it's worked really, really faster. And I like that very much. Let me show you guys. Let me go forward and let me show you right here. First of all, I don't think it makes any sense to talk about this screen right here in the front because it's the same uh, digital cockpit as you know it first of all in the middle you have some information uh, of the battery then on the side you have some information about the assistance systems and travel assist and on the right side you have the navigation information also they focus a lot on the head-up display I don't know if you can see it right there but it's one of the best head-up display guys directly on the windshield you can see there the navigation you can see also a lot of useful information like speed and also the travel assist and uh, the great thing is that it has also that virtual display so I, I can say direction display that shows you left and right uh, it's a nice uh, head-up display let me go forward because the most important thing is the multimedia system here in the id5 we have this big screen like 12 inch i think it is it's really really big and you have a great great visibility from the driver point of view i like also that it's tilted to the driver so you have a good visibility and also you can reach out the buttons easily also volkswagen still keep those controllers for climatic system and volume down here i think it's working a little bit faster i tried them and it is a little bit more responsive as it was before but yeah many people some complain about that because they want physical button for climatic system but i tell you it's much more responsive now they still have these shortcut buttons down here for the parking for the climatic system for assistance systems where you can change different safety features like adaptive cruise control travel assist uh, you have the lane assist the blind spot technology but you can see how i play in the menu you will see in a second it's much more responsive as it was before look at this look how responsive it is this is a great thing this is one of the thing that make me really happy because i can go in every uh, menu without any problem i can go in the map and you can see even the map right now it's super super responsive and this is a great thing even though i can choose another destination here for example and you can see even the destination even the uh, the navigation it's loading really really fast and this is this is super super nice i'm super happy about that i have to say you can see also the range here up to where the car can go in the navigation it's really really awesome and this new uh, volkswagen id5 this pro performance version has a lot of range so you can reach out even milano from here around 400 a 400 kilometer i think in real time 400 350 depend how you drive depend on the weather but really really responsive and also you can see on the map you can choose different things here like night daytime the charging station if you want to see it uh, on the map you can also see it right here um, it's really really cool also uh, the great great improvement is that you can see how fast it is right now this is the home screen that you can somehow customize here and add whatever things you want to add right here also on the first screen you have the navigation also the charging but let me go in the menu the menu you reach out here very simple it's like a tablet press this uh, kind of put your finger here on the square and it gets you to the main menu this is the main menu where you have all the information and all the settings you have the telephone right here you can go in telephone settings and reach out you can go in uh, multimedia settings you have radio media and settings there navigation you already see it it's much much more responsive you go to vehicle here on the vehicle you have the most important information about the car for example the consumption here on the long terms since charging here on the information you have information about the car if the car has some errors and you go to vehicle here you have also a lot of information about the car like comfort light you can also uh, choose the animation the exit light duration it has a very nice animation guys i included in the other video in the review video if you want to see it and from here you can choose the tail light animation it has like uh, two different tail lights the turning signals dynamic classic depending on how you want to have it 
it's really really interesting how many features it has this car the tire pressure mirrors headlights even the headlights you can choose the animation a cornering light you can choose here switch on time late or early automatic high beam control in rain um, and really interesting then if you go right you can see that you can see the brakes easy open the, the trunk it's automatically here is the traction control you can turn it on and off uh, also uh, auto roll protection then you have the uh, auto hold also it's here from here you have to activate and deactivate if you want to and then you have another page here where you have the windows central locking and here service and wipers so really interesting you go to interior here and you have the head-up display um, settings here you can choose the brightness uh, you can choose the position you can choose wherever you want also uh, i make it a little bit brighter but uh, driver assistant uh, you can choose what you like to see on the head-up display it's really interesting how many things um, can be added there cockpit here also on the cockpit you can uh, reset and um, the, the, the different information there the interior light by the way the car come with uh, some nice uh, interior light instrument for example light here and id light id light um, are also if i'm not wrong uh, the lights that are here on the screen so no this is this is the light there behind the steering wheel uh, behind the the, the the cockpit look at there there is the light and you can choose the brightness from here really interesting and also basic functions you can also charge and change how you want to have it the navigation here uh, for example if you go to navigation if you do something then that light behind there will will somehow react in different colors so it's really interesting i like that light very much it's really really uh, cool and from here you can choose different settings from it uh, the roof here the seats the interior light this is the interior light as i showed you before and yeah this is this is really cool how many features you have here in the car now let me go forward guys now here uh, you have the charging you can choose how much you want to charge the car for example 80 percent 90 percent usually it's recommended to charge it to 80 percent and you have 422 kilometers but you can go even higher uh, and it has even a better uh, better charging right now and it's it's super simple to add this you can add the location you can go even in settings here and you can add uh, battery care for example here and also this battery care you can say it's tell you a few information to charge to 80 percent and it says how can you do to take care of the battery and to last longer good let's go forward app connectivity it's great that you can connect your phone i will have a separate video on how to connect wireless your phone to this new multimedia system uh, id multimedia system 2022 23 will be the same processor the same chip as it is in this one and it's simple you press here it gives you some information but i will show you in another video i will make a separate video then you have the sound here focus volume and up here you have also the sound and the bass and all kind of information here then you have also the settings if you want to go a little bit deeper good second page you have the breakground light wow they have one of the most beautiful lights i like very much this eternity light but infinity look also awesome desire euphoria vitality and also you can customize individualize the way you want it it's really really interesting they have some cool cool lights here that i like them very much then you have the air conditioning you can schedule the air conditioning here when you depart here, you can schedule every week every day depend how you want to have it also you can go in settings um, and yeah you have also some extra settings there uh, driver assistance systems you already see it here is the travel assist adaptive cruise control lane assist and all that safety features of the car and the last and not least is the settings the most important where you find all the settings of the car here you have uh, like copyright information you can reset it from factory the Wi-Fi uh, settings the unit you can change the units mile and kilometer the language the screen time and date and all that stuff so that was all I think I show you everything the only thing that I didn't show you is the climatic system so you can reach out the climatic system here it comes with air care that comes also on skoda 
this is also a great great uh, feature to have it on the car then the classic climatic system you can reach out yourself and choose the speed the fan the temperature down here you can also reach and change it from down here if you want to also you can choose where to go the air super super simple to use heated steering wheel by the way and you have also smart climate on the smart climate you can choose for example yeah different uh, features here cool my feet defrost my feet and stuff like that uh, you probably know it already so guys that was the video if you still have question please ask me down below wherever you want to ask uh, also i hope the video was useful much much better than the uh, previous version the new software update and the new chip the new processor it's much faster and it's super responsive you will never have that lag and problem like i see before in the id3 the first first cars uh, that comes with the multimedia system anyway thank you for watching that was the review of the new volkswagen id multimedia system 2022 or 2023 they will uh, use it also uh, thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys